everyone. This is Pastor Ken Dixon again, coming to you with another recipe. This recipe is a little bit different. Uh, many of you know that I'm in the process of training uh, for the Tour de Youth 2015. It's going to be from June 28th to July the 2nd. We're riding from Dallas to San Antonio on our bikes, 325 miles. And so what I wanted to bring to you today is some recipes to help because even though you're cycling and that's, that's great and you're uh, you're exercising and you're getting fit and things like that. Um, you also want to control your diet. You want to make sure that the calories you're putting in are the calories that are helping you to burn when you're exercising. And, and for me, um, I'm, it takes me a little bit longer uh, to get into the groover thing since, since my injury. Um, now that I'm, I'm back on the bike, it takes me a little bit longer to, to warm up and my, my muscles to get loose and my ankle to, to kind of get loose. So um, I need a little bit more time. So what, what we're going to talk about today is a recipe. Uh, this is a dinner recipe. Um, it is about um, 200 calories, and you want to get some calories before you actually get on the bike, um, and you want to carb up the night before. Um, so this is going to help you. So all my cyclists, pay attention. This is going to be a great recipe for pizza, homemade pizza. Uh, many of you may have seen the pictures uh, that I put out on Facebook a while back, but now I'm going to actually show you how to make it. Uh, but before I do that, I want to share with you, I've got a couple of books here um, that, I, that I used for recipe. This one is a great book. Um, this is the, the, the Feed Zone cookbook. This gives you breakfast, lunch, and dinner, uh, um, uh, meals that you can eat that'll keep you uh, going on the energy while you're on the bike. Um, and before you get on the bike and the night before, and the, and the meals are good. They're really good. And then I've got another one called the Feed Zone Portables. Um, this one is good because it helps you with, um, uh, if you want to uh, take some things with you on the bike with you um, to help you, uh, uh, you know, for these long rides and things like that. But before I even go any further, I want to I give a plug out to, uh, there is a, a group of, uh, there's a company that actually uh, makes a wonderful um, supplements and things that you can eat and, uh, while you're on the bike. It's called The Feed. Uh, if you go to thefeed.com, uh, you'll be able to see it. You can subscribe to uh, some meals that they have, some th different things that you can carry with you. I actually subscribe to it, and I enjoy it. So just give a plug out to The Feed. Great group of guys, uh, and they're real warm. Every box you get, there's always a little message personalized to you. All right, so we're going to be making pizza. All right, homemade pizza. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take... And you want to get a one cup of warm tap water, put it in a bowl. Uh, and then once you have the warm tap water in the bowl, you want to add a couple of things. Uh, the first thing you want to add is you want to add your yeast. And what I've done is I've got some, some basically from Walmart, some, some yeast uh, for pie crust, I mean for pizza crusts, yeast. Uh, it is a, a great, you can find them in various different, co different companies, sell them. Um, but you want to take and you want to add a package of yeast. Um, and since I am doing this, I'm doubling my recipe, so I'm going to add two of them. So we've got one here, and we want to add another one to what we're doing here. You add that to your, to your warm tap water. And once you add that to the warm tap water, you want to add a teaspoon of sugar. Teaspoon of sugar helps the medicine go down, as my wife would say from Mary Poppins. A teaspoon, a, a teen, teaspoon of sugar to help the medicine go down. All right. Once you've gotten that going and you, you've got that it's sitting in there, you want to mix those two together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me a mixing spoon. Give me a couple of mixing spoons. And... I'm going to take, rinse these off, all right, and I'm just going to go and I'm going to take and I'm just going to mix this all together. This is my yeast, uh, my warm tap water, and my sugar, and I'm just going to mix that together, okay, and I'm going to let this sit for about, oh, about five minutes. I want to make sure you crunch up all of that yeast and all of the things in there. Okay, we're going to set that aside and let it sit for about five minutes. Now, while I'm letting that sit, I am also going to um, I am going to cut up some 
some of my ingredients, my toppings for my, if I can find a good knife, my toppings, here we go, my toppings for my, for my pizza. So what I've got here, I've got some Morningstar um, vegetarian bacon strips. Don't do, uh, don't do pork. No, don't do any meat. Um, so I want to chop those up. This is going to be, add my little, some little toppings to my pizza. I'm going to go ahead and chop those up nice and small. So this is going to be my simulated uh, pepperoni. <laughs> my simulated pepperoni. So I'm gonna just go and chop those up nice and small. All right. Oh, also, you wanna make sure you preheat your oven to uh, 400 degrees so that when it's time to rock and roll, you're good to go. All right, so I've got that. Go ahead and move this out of the way. All right, now that I'm sitting there looking at my yeast, my, my, my yeast is starting to come up and it's starting to be a little activated and doing this little thing in there. All right. I also want to, uh, what I've done is I've actually, I've got some black olives that I've already uh, prepared. And anyone that knows me knows that my favorite pizza is black olives and jalapenos. So I got my jalapenos. Uh, they're prepared as well. And what I'm going to do is also, I'm going to take some, some basil leaves. And these are really good. Just take a couple basil leaves here. And I'm going to add, this is going to add just a little a little texture and taste to my to my pizza. I'm just gonna go ahead and chop these up nice and small um, so that I'm not when I eat it I'm not like I'm eating a branch. All right so we go ahead and chop those up just put those off to the side there. All right and once we've got that we've got that going. Now it is time let's go ahead and move this out of the way. And we're just going to set this right here. It is now time for us to get ready with our dough. So we're going to take now, we're going to take two and a half cups of flour and add it to our mixture. Okay, uh, that was two and, a, two and a half there. And since I'm doubling my recipe, I'm going to do just slightly a little bit more. Okay, all right, we've got that here. Go ahead and take my spoon and what you wanna do is you wanna mix it around until the dough becomes sticky, okay? You wanna just sit there and mix it until it becomes nice, not, not too bad, but you wanna make sure that it's nice and sticky and you want to get all of that dough in there because this is your pie crust, uh, your pizza crust. So mix that all in there. It's nice and sticky. Okay, you may have to add a little bit more flour just to just kind of eyeball it a little bit, but it's a little bit more because you want all the moisture to be kind of absorbed so that it's going to make a nice sticky dough. And this is what it's going to look like. So that's what it's looking like right now. Okay. So I just want to move that around here. All right. We'll add a little bit more flour. Okay. Just a little bit more flour here. Now that we've done that, um, we're going to. Come back and we'll be ready to lay out our dough and roll out our dough and prepare our pizza. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. As you can see, I have prepared my surface uh, with flour. I wanted to mention also that as the, as the, the dough is in the bowl, uh, add a, add a um, tablespoon of olive oil. Uh, in there as well. I did two since once again I'm doubling my recipe. So now we want to take and we want to transfer we want to transfer our dough here. Okay. You want to make sure that you have no lumps 
and uh, in there. All right, so just kind of feel it. And I've got some lumps in here and I don't, I don't really want to, to pull those out and use any more flour. So once you've got those lumps taken out of there, just one more little one, you want to go ahead and take your dough, transfer it to your flour that is on the surface. And now this comes the fun part. Now you want to make sure that the dough is covered with flour until it is no longer sticky on your hands. Uh, so you're going to have to knead it a little bit. You want to make sure that it is non-sticky on your hands. See how it's starting to fall off my hands? That means the flour is now starting to stick to the sticky part of the dough. Now, uh, in case, uh, I, I mean, I don't really have to tell you this, but Make sure you clean your counter, uh, your surface, before you actually do that. Uh, you don't want to be nasty and, and make something and uh, people end up getting sick from it or anything like that. So clean your counters off very well. Uh, once again, put that flour in there. Knead it around to all of your, till it's no longer sticky to your hand. And then once you've done that, you want to take another bowl. I'm just gonna get it all off my hands here. You want to take another bowl and you want to coat it with another teaspoon of olive oil. And then you put. You're gonna take your bowl, your your um, your dough here. <laughs> it's lost lost track of my mind here. Um, you want to take your dough here, and you want to put it inside of there. And uh, when we come back, I'll tell you what we'll do after that. All right. So here we go. Um, once you've taken your dough and you've rolled it around on the uh, surface, the floured surface, you want to break it into two, break it into two doughs. You take one, you put it inside of a bowl with some olive oil, let it roll around in there and get saturated with the olive oil. Uh, and I just put a uh, two, two tablespoons of, of, two tablespoons of olive oil. And then I took the other one and I left it in a bowl. Now, if you want this, if you want this crust to be thick, you're going to have to cover this with a paper towel um, and let it sit for about an hour and it will actually rise in a warm place um, it, it, with a damp rag. It'll actually rise. Me personally, I like mine nice and thin. So I take it and you want to take now and you want to roll this thing out. And in, in order for you to roll it out, you obviously need a rolling pin. So I've got a rolling pin I'm going to take and I'm going to, I'm going to roll my, my dough out. Uh, so when we come back, we'll be ready to roll our dough and cover the toppings and get ready to eat. We're back. Here we are, ready to roll my dough. I'm just go ahead and move this out of the way. And we just want to roll it out and you want to make it thin, as thin as you like. And actually, it will get pretty, pretty thin. Um, Roll it out on a floured, sur floured surface so it doesn't stick to the surface. And also, you want to put a little flour on your, on your rolling pin so it doesn't stick to your rolling pin as well. So I'm just going to, oh, I need some room here. I'm just going to roll, roll it out. And what I'm going to do is, as I'm rolling it out, I'm going to make it, shape it into a rounded pizza crust, okay? Now, you gotta be careful not to make it too thin because as you pick it up, it will break apart and you have a mess on your hands. So you wanna, I just kinda rolled mine out a little bit and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut uh, an end of it off just so that it still has the rounded shape and that part that I cut off See, I just cut this part off here. I'm going to take that and I'm going to add it to the other dough as it's sitting. Okay. So once you've done that, you want to get, uh, there are several ways you can, you can cook it. And I've got two different ways. So I actually have a, a, a stone pizza creator. Uh, and what I do is I just take, bring my stone over here, and I'm just going to take my pizza crust 
And this is why we have the flowery surface, so that we can just pick it right up, lay it on the stone surface. Now, I'm gonna take the stone, and as it's here, now I'm going to let it conform to the surface of the stone. All right. Now, you may have noticed that on my stone there was some little granule things. And uh, you want to make sure you could put some cornmeal down on there uh, underneath it. To, you just want to dust it with it. You don't want to put a whole lot, just dust it with that so that it'll be on there. Now, so what do we use for our ingredients for our, our sauce? Well, you can buy sauce, paste picante and all these other things. But what I've actually done is I've actually made my own. And, and it was very simple. I simply took three tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, okay? And I just blended them up, okay? And then now that once you've done that, you just take and you just add. All right, so once you've added your, your tomato sauce uh, to your crust, you wanna now, you wanna take and get a spoon and you just wanna spread it around. And it's not gonna look like you know, the paste picante because it's, it's not going to be as thick. Uh, but you, you trust me, it's going to be good. Uh, go ahead and spread it around on there. If you need a little bit more, go ahead and add a little bit more. This is all natural. And once again, this, uh, this pizza is, you know, it's about 200 calories. I typically will eat one of these when I'm about to go on a long ride the next day. This is my dinner. Um, and sometimes I gotta uh, make a couple of them because my family's looking at me like, listen, we may not be cycling, but you know, we, we want some dinner too. We want some of that pizza that you're making. So once you've done that, you've got the, 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 the paste picante, uh, your homemade paste picante sauce on there. You wanna go ahead and start adding your ingredients. My black olives. And I try to be a little bit more liberal than Pizza Hut and Domino's because I like black olives. Okay, you add your black olives. Okay, then jalapenos. Love these things. Okay, got our jalapenos. And now we're going to add our bacon, <laughs> our fake bacon. As we say, our stripples. We're going to add our stripples to it. Once we've done that, now we go and we can add our mozzarella cheese to it. Okay. And we just have a couple more things to do before we're ready to stick it in the oven. First, we add our mozzarella cheese. Go ahead and just spread it all around here. Covering all of our ingredients. And if you're vegan, you can use um, vegan mozzarella cheese. All right. If, you, if you're into some other exotic cheeses, try it. Um, this is a homemade dish, so you can't really go wrong. All right, and now we want to go ahead and add our basil. Our basil leaves to it, to the top there, just to give it a nice look. All right. Okay, now that we have that on there, let me show you what this looks like. Here we go. This looks absolutely delicious. And we're gonna see, we're gonna cook it. Cook it for about 25 minutes um, at about 400 degrees. And then we'll see what it looks like and tastes like when we're done. The pizza is done. It looks delicious and it smells wonderful. I'm gonna enjoy this. Um, let me get a, let me give you a, a close up on this. This is amazing. This pizza is absolutely amazing. It is just right. Um, let it cool a little bit. So, but you want to cut it when it's hot, and I think you're going to enjoy it. This is the cycling pizza, and it gets you ready for whatever you're going to do the next day. Uh, it's absolutely delicious. And if you want to join us for our, our Tour de Youth 2015, uh, just go to mysouthwestregion.org slash tour de youth. That's the French 
D-E, uh, youth. Um, if you want to follow us on Facebook, just go to Tour de Youth. Uh, follow us on Facebook. If you'd like to donate to the cause, um, because the whole reason why we're doing this is for, to bring awareness to adult and youth obesity, as well as to raise some scholarships for young people to be able to engage in educational uh, pursuits. So I hope you'll follow us. Stay tuned. We'll be having some more uh, recipes, some, some portable recipes, as well as some more dinners, breakfast, and lunch. All right. Thank you. I'm going to enjoy this. Sorry if I eat in front of you, but this is so delicious, I think I, I just have to. Mmm, amazing. See you later.